Now to another story you will only see on News Nation. Nearly seven months after a Norfolk Southern train derailed in East Palestine, Ohio, and spilled hazardous chemicals into the small town, new independent testing is showing concerning levels of toxins on residents' property. News Nation's Rich McHugh has been covering East Palestine since the derailment back in February. He spoke exclusively with the independent tester about these new results. Hey, Rich. Hi, Elizabeth. New independent testing finds more and more harmful chemicals here, but the EPA says they're not concerned. So to make sense of this, we traveled to a town that found itself in a similar predicament four decades ago, and it just may offer a glimpse into the future here. Three months after officials here burned five tank cars full of vinyl chloride over East Palestine and toxic smoke blanketed the region. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get out of here. Shelby Walker, whose home is 900 feet from the derailment, was diagnosed with vinyl chloride in her system. She begged the EPA to test her home, her soil. The EPA has not tested my house, my soil, nothing. Why do you think they're not going to test here? I, Because they know. They know, and they don't want nobody else to know what's really out here. But independent testing expert Scott Smith did test, and he shared the results exclusively with News Nation. And what did you find? We found total dioxins of 2.5 parts per billion. Dioxins, the most carcinogenic compounds on the planet. To put dioxin levels of 2.5 parts per billion in context, we traveled 630 miles away to Times Beach, Missouri. This is what used to be Times Beach. This is old Highway 66. Right here. This was a liquor store and a tavern. Marilyn Leisner was the last mayor of Times Beach. They told us on December 23rd, 1982, that if we were in our homes to leave and if we're, we were out not to come back. In the 1970s, the roads of Times Beach were sprayed with oil to contain the dust, but they were contaminated by dioxin. Ten years later, the EPA and the CDC found the dioxins in the soil there. Quote, of 255 samples, levels of dioxin in a few yards and in one home show levels greater than one part per billion and less than five parts per billion. The government permanently relocated every resident, bought all the properties after the CDC advised it was necessary because, quote, the hazard posed by dioxin contamination is a continuing threat to health of citizens in the community. There were 2,242 residents, 801 families, 28 businesses, four churches, two taverns, and four churches. And all everybody evacuated. Yes. Today, it's wild, overgrown. You'd never know it was once a city. Beautiful lawns, landscaping, uh, where the homes were. You, if you go through here certain times of the years, you can still see flowers, irises, and we talked about From people's the, homes. Yes, naked ladies and the things. My dad planted Rosa Sharon trees. From above, 28 miles of roads practically invisible. Everything bulldozed and put into this trench, now five football fields long, what they call Town Mound. Today, though, Leisner is focused not on what she is seeing here, but in East Palestine, Ohio. I cannot believe they are leaving people within 10 feet of the site of the derailment. You think the same thing should happen in East Palestine that happened here? Absolutely. They need to remove those people from the threat. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Remember, Shelby Walker's results were 2.5 parts per billion in the same range as Times Beach. Our yard's not safe. I know our home's not safe. It hasn't been from day one. How does it make you feel? Um, it sickens me, but it does not surprise me. Just as much bogus and bull crap as we are getting from everybody, we don't know who to trust anymore. Clearly, we can't trust the EPA. We sure the heck can't trust Norfolk Southern for nothing. And our government's not here for us, so who, where do we turn, where do we go? Now, I asked the EPA in writing about Shelby Walker's test results and whether they would now test her soil. They would not answer those questions, but invited Ms. Walker to share her results with them. Elizabeth? Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.